If a morgue worker dies they'd still need to come in to work one more time. That actually reminds me of something that happened to my father. At his first day as a coroner, his first subject was the person who had the job before him. Suspicious job opening. We've all been there. Username checks out. Oof. Yeah but they won't get paid. They get stiffed. And some get fired as well. Well they have to earn their living. Never thought this thread would get buried in so many comments. I don't know how people keep coughing up unique puns. Depends where they died. And how they died. They don't send every stiff to the morgue. I've never really thought about this. But which ways get you to the morgue? Would it just be suspicious circumstances? Or does it have to do with your post-mortem plans? I used to assist in autopsies. A pathologist is the one that performs them. As a general rule, we would get anyone that died where it wasn't anticipated. You had heart surgery three weeks ago and died? Doctor will sign that death certificate. Suicide? Car crash? Overdose? Not anticipated. And those three were the bulk of the autopsies we did. A lot of it is to confirm the cause of death and there wasn't foul play. On occasion an unanticipated death wasn't autopsied under particular circumstances. Like death by being thrown by a tornado. Ninja edit. This could be particular to just the hospital I worked at. Edit 2. Grammar edit 3. I'm terrible at English. As a general rule. We would get anyone that died where it was anticipated. Suicide? Car crash? Overdose? Not anticipated. And those three were the bulk of the autopsies we did. These statements are conflicting right. I'm not just stupid. I had a cow walker like that. Super anal perfectionist. They'd never take time off of work and would even come in on their days off to help with funerals. The rest of us used to joke that they'd die and still come into work and embalm themselves and arrange their own funeral because they'd figure the rest of us wouldn't do it right. And did they? You can't just tell half the story. The stories I could tell about this kaoka. Nay this funeral home. I was there for a year and it was the weirdest goddamn place I had worked and I used to work at a laser tag arena that was a drug front. One kaoka was 80, the other was 22. Those were the only two funeral directors. In the one year I was there I had four people get shot and killed within three blocks of my workplace. We had to lock up our hand sanitizer because people would drink it during funerals. The workaholic Kawaka had their wisdom teeth out and then came into work the next day, still bleeding, to make arrangements. During my one year involvement I got three concussions, six stitches, nerve damage in my foot, and no longer have feeling in one of my fingertips. We kept a severed foot in a container of formaldehyde in the basement. Fun place. Over 100 years old. There were 6 busts of JFK in one room. Now I have more questions. Please. Keep going. Other wild facts about this funeral home we frequently had people break in and steal hand sanitizer. There was no elevator to get the caskets from the main floor to the garage where the elevator was. We would instead use a series of ramps and aisles to move the caskets across the floor and down the stairs, like we are building the pyramids. There was not one, not two, but three apartments in the funeral home. This included a functional sauna. One of my jobs as the intern was to go around every morning and clean up the used needle slash vomit slash shit in the bushes. If there's a thought of the month or something, this should be it. Except for they are returning as a customer. If I worked at Zara, quit, and then returned, and bought some shirts, you wouldn't say I had to return to work. It's still a cute thought, but also a bit off. And yes, I'm super fun at parties. Just waiting to get invited to one again. I'll invite you to my party. Internet stranger. Lol. Thank you. I'll bring an awesome char cutie respread. He meant you are the char cutie respread with fava beans. If, how many of them are immortal? Lol. Sorry man. I'm not a native speaker. Sometimes situations like this happen. I think your thought still works as is. I wouldn't consider a person to be a morgue worker if they stopped working there. I believe we say they've been promoted to customer. Not if they are eaten. Maybe take a break from the internet for today. Patrick Chuck? Five more minimums mom. 
please. You can have three. No coronavirus is too dangerous. We need you off the internet in 60 seconds. I heard it was a virus and you can get those on the computer, and it can transfer to you. This is the only good chow thought I've seen in ages. How the duck did the one saying we might already be infected, get so many upvotes. That was an appealing ducking shower thought to mayo. They are called morticians. It's called a coroner. Morticians work in a mortuary. That's also not correct. Medical examiners. Autopsy technicians. And death investigators may not be coroners. Link. Com slash Padukakai funeral home employee cremated by mistake while taking a nap slash not this guy. Bit of a rough punishment for sleeping on the job, if you ask me. One last time. When I'm dead, just throw me in the trash. Not if the killer is good at covering her tracks. Now that you have posted this, do you think morgue workers usually take care of bodies of their cow walkers? Weirdest shit to think about. That's not work though. Bro I've woken up dead and had to go into work. Depends how they died. They'd come into their place of former employment, not come into work. This bothers me too, they wouldn't come into work, though they might come into their workplace. I wonder if funeral homes funeralize their deceased employees, or if they farm that shit out like a veterinarian who doesn't want to put his own dog down. Deleted. Stop it you're making me hungry. Promoted to customer. Congratulations. You've been promoted to customer. Okay who the heck gave this a wholesome award. Pornsters come into work twice whenever they work. This is the saddest show I thought I read yet. Noth is like an unwritten code you don't go where you work when you die. They ship you to the next one. He may be hauled to work, but he already punched out. If, are you telling me they can be immortal? Who says they didn't change careers before dying? Bruh. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.